Hey guys, I'm Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up? It's great to see you. So just a few things I wanted to talk about before we get into the readings uh, for the first half of May. Um, these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, I'm telling the story as I see it, and I'm reading for a bunch of different people. So if something is resonating with you, but I'm not exactly telling the story as it specifically goes for your situation, just take the elements that you feel resonate and place them where you feel that they go, okay? And if something, if you hear something and it doesn't resonate with you, please don't try and make it fit. Just let it go and you know continue rolling on with the story until you reach another point where th that resonates with you and place that where it goes for you. Yes, um, I am available for private readings. Uh, if you would like to get a reading with me, my email address and the description of the readings that I offer currently are found in the description box below. Um, Please go ahead and email me and you know we can get something set up. I am very, very happy to help you guys out in this way and help you get clarity on whatever situations you are facing in your life. Um, unfortunately, I will not be taking any more questions from Instant Go at this time. Um, Instant Go is a great service. If you have a quick question you want to ask, I highly recommend you do so through Instant Go. And that Instant Go is an iPhone app. But for me, I don't have an iPhone. I have an iPad, but I don't travel with that. Um, and my schedule is so busy and crazy that I don't always have time or even remember, to, to be quite honest, to check Instant Go. And so a lot of those, a few people have sent me questions and I completely miss it. And by the time I actually do get to it, the question's been deleted. And if that is you, I highly apologize. Instant Go just is not um, the best avenue for me at this time. So if you would like to get a reading with me, I encourage you to email me and we will set something up that way. Um, a bit of good news, I will be reading um, in person at Om Shanti Bookstore in the East Village of Manhattan. So if you guys are in the five boroughs or you are visiting, um, New York City, I encourage you guys to come see me. Yay! We can meet in person and have a little chat and whatnot. Um, have our a, a conversation, yeah? Uh, the, even, I'm sorry, the uh, website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box below as well. Just go to the website and um, you can, you know, get the address and all that. I will be there every Monday from 11 to 5. I will not be there uh, Monday, May 7th because May 6th is my birthday and I'm gonna have some fun, right? So uh, thank you to Rakesh for <laughs> giving me the day off because I, I, I'm probably gonna need it. Just throwing it out there. Um, let's see, I believe that's it. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get to the reading. Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. So this is going to be for the first half of May first through the 15th. So let's get into it, shall we? All right, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Capricorn for this time period of May 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. You leveled up recently. Excellent. Good for you. So let's see what's next on the journey for you, Cappy. Cappy, 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 Cap, Capricorn. <laughs> All right, Capricorn. One more shuffle for you, and then I'll cut the deck, and then we'll get into this. Oh, no. Okay, just going to cut the deck. All right, here we go. All right, Capricorn. Overall energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles. See, you leveled up, and so now you are ready to embark on a new journey, um, a new reality, a new physical existence is starting. And you being an Earth sign, this is a very, very good thing. Things are finally starting to change um, for the better in your life. And I do say finally, but 
finally, because you've been doing the work to receive the new start. So good on you. <laughs> good on you, Capricorn. Next, yep, we've got the Six of Swords moving away, moving towards calmer water. Some of you actually may be moving altogether. Um, new home, new state, maybe even a new country, who knows? But yeah, movement, okay? Moving to calmer waters, moving away from past that no longer serves you. Excellent. We have the Three of Pentacles, okay? Um, entrepreneur, entrepreneurialship. Working for you, um, yeah, uh, serving your life purpose. And then your challenge right now is the two of wands, okay? Now this is the rest of, this is what's underneath everything. But this, I'm, re I'm feeling like this is a challenge for you right now. Um, you are embarking, some, uh, many of you, Capricorn, may, ha may be embarking on um, a new business venture, okay? Um, but you're not exactly sure which way to go right now. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so let's get into your storyline here. We've got the King of Wands in reverse with the Five of Cups in reverse. So for some of you, this is what we're talking about here. Um, you're moving away from a situation with someone that just was really promiscuous, was not into commitment, and probably really broke your heart. Um, this could also be a business venture. Something, someone was not reliable. Um, it, they talked a big game, but they weren't really willing to do the work to, 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 to follow in, follow up, you know what I mean? To follow through. So, um, you know, that was probably a really negative yeah, it would be a really negative situation for you. And there may have been a period of mourning, but you're coming out of that with the Five of Cups, okay? For others of you, if it's not business, then it's a, a relationship. Um, I'm also picking up Twin Flame energy here. For some of you, your Divine Masculine, who would be represented by the King of Wands, is just not doing it, you know, not showing up. Um, they may be they may be present in your life, but that doesn't mean that they are being honest and truthful and authentic. They're not being authentic, or at least as authentic as they could be. And since you have reached this new level of understanding and you're you're really doing the work to better your life, you're not crying over this anymore. You kind of accepted it. You're kind of like, all right, whatever. Like I'm just gonna go about my business and do my thing. For some of you, that this person who is represented by the King of Wands, if this is your divine, divine masculine, for some of you, they're, they're not in your life anymore. You know, Six of Swords, you could be moving away from them completely. I mean, you're, it's not like you're totally cutting them off per se, but, um, you know, you're probably just not even, you're not even fucking with it anymore. For some of you, that this person may still be in your life, um, but you're kind of holding them at arm's length to a certain extent. And yeah. Next, we have the Eight of Swords. So you're still up in your head about something. Um, and this is, to me, this is kind of typical Capricorn energy. Um, yeah, and then we have, ah, Strength in Reverse. Some of you are still struggling with a, uh, a lesson or a challenge in inner strength, um, in believing in yourself. Self-deprecating energy is coming through here. And that's one of, that is a main challenge, a big challenge for Capricorns. Um, believe in yourself, believing in yourself. I mean, you have leveled up to a new place of understanding, but now I'm starting to pick up that because you have grown, you have expanded, you have changed, now you're kind of starting, the self-deprecating energy is coming in and you're start and you're doubting yourself. You're like, no, can I really do this though? Like, wait, hold on a second. Can I really do this though? And to me, that's just, you're being too practical. Okay, you're, you are, um, you are beating yourself down for the sake of practicality, logic, safety, um, balance, but it's not balanced actually, it's imbalanced because you are not allowing yourself the freedom to really express the strength that you know you have, okay? Next. Prince or the Knight of Wands. This is you, Capricorn. For
for the most part. This is you. You are taking, you're taking up your own wand and you're moving forward as a spiritual warrior, as, a, as your own <clears throat> spiritual champion, as a champion for those you serve, yeah? And this could be in business, this whatever business venture this is for you. Um, and this is, ah, yeah, see, the Nine of Cups. So you are moving forward as this champion um, and you are facilitating the, 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 your wish, your dreams coming true. You're literally taking the action steps to make your dreams come true here with the Nine of Cups. Excellent, Capricorn. Next, we have the High Priestess in reverse with, oof, the chariot in reverse. Um, this is speaking to, okay, yeah, it's interesting. Because this is, for the most part, this is speaking to what we were talking about here with strength in reverse and the eight of swords. Self-deprecating. You're, you're doubting yourself. You're not believing in yourself. And as a result, um, I mean, you're still moving forward with, with fulfilling your own wishes. But you're not necessarily listening to what your intuition has to say. I'm not spe I'm not picking up that there are secrets here because the high priestess is in reverse. If she if the high priestess were upright, then I would think maybe there are some secrets. But no, everything is laid out in, right in front of you. Like all of the information that you need that is necessary for you to move forward in the best way possible with the chariot here is being shown to you. But you're still not moving forward, at least not moving forward as. Um, passionately is what's coming out but as swiftly strongly quickly as you can because you're doubting yourself you're doubting your intuitive guidance you're like well is that really true i'm not sure yes it's true your intuition will never lie to you okay moving forward seven of cups wishful thinking uh the all gifted now see this is excellent capricorn the All Gifted is a unique card to this deck. This is the Tarot Apocalypsis deck. This is a depiction of a Pandora and her, her box of tricks, <laughs> yeah? But this card talks about um, uh, knowing your self-worth, knowing what you have to offer to the world, um, what you can bring to society, to the world around you for the betterment of everyone involved, okay? And it's upright. So you are aware. You have come to a point where you are aware of just what you have to bring to this world. And so with the Seven of Cups here, you're kind of you're kind of mulling through it like, hmm, well, I know I have this gift. How do I want to manifest it? Right? So that's where the wishful thinking is coming in, in the sense that you're kind of in a place where you're you're you are um you're, you're drumming up all these different kind of scenarios in your mind to figure out which way will best serve the mission, best serve the facilitation of your, of your desires, and best, best, uh, the best way to utilize your gifts. But I'm being pulled to, tell, to remind you guys again that you need to believe in yourself. Because you could sit in this wishful thinking state knowing just how talented and, and gifted you are and wish for things to move forward. But if you don't have the belief in yourself, if you don't allow yourself to exert the strength that you know you have, it's not going to come through. You're blocking yourself at that point. Moving forward, we have the moon in reverse with... Five of Pentacles in reverse. So, um, yeah, there are no more secrets for you anymore, Capricorn. You know what the truth is, okay? And you can take that however resonates with you. You know what the truth is, and you're not about to let yourself feel this lack anymore. You can't. You've leveled up. There's no way you can allow yourself to be the person that you were in the past because you're not that person anymore, okay? There are no more secrets for you, Capricorn, at least when it comes to what you've been dealing with um, <clears throat> recently, like whatever, whatever 
major cycle you came out of and leveled up out of, there are no secrets related to that anymore. So there's no way you could even go back. And I feel like you're in this kind of stage because you're still in the beginning processes of moving forward from this last stage you were in. Um, you're well into it, but it's still kind of in the beginning, if that makes sense. That sounds like an oxymoron. But anyway, um, well, yeah, because this is a long journey. <laughs> Moving on. Um, <laughs> you're still feeling a little bit of the fear and the still kind of dealing with a little bit of the mindset that you had in the past in which you were very much strength in reverse, didn't believe in yourself, didn't think you could do it, very self-deprecating, always putting yourself down. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, if you spent most of your life in that type of energy, then it makes absolute sense that it would take you a good amount of time to rewire those mental connections, you know what I mean? Like to, to take down that mental structure and rebuild a new one, okay? So that's kind of what this is going on, what's going on here, but believe in yourself because you've already come this far, Capricorn. I mean, it's only up from here, right? Right. <laughs> Moving forward, we have the devil. Here you are, Capricorn, you are showing up with the tower. Ooh, wow. 15 and 16 together. So Capricorn, the, what we're talking about here uh, uh, is this mental prison that you were in that kept you from really doing the things that you knew you wanted to do, that, that kept you in this strength in reverse mindset. I mean, this is actively changing right now. And if it has, if it's not changing now, it just you just came out of it or you're going to be going into it soon. But, I mean, really, the only message here with these two cards is just a confirmation that the change is happening. The structures are being dismantled, okay? Have a little patience with yourself, a little more patience with yourself. I mean, this is probably not going to be something that happens all that quickly. Because, again, this was a major, major life circumstance, a reality for you. So it is going to take some time to dismantle. Just have some faith and patience with yourself, trust yourself, believe in yourself, because you got this, okay? Finally, we have, aha, see, there you are again, the Page of Pentacles. But this is not a bad thing. This is not lacking maturity. This is you literally stepping into your next level. So you are going to have to work a little bit to get your footing, to understand the nature of this new reality that you find yourself in, okay? And that's coupled with the hanged man. Exactly. That makes perfect sense. So yes, you are you have leveled, leveled up. You're stepping into this new physical reality. And you're a little, you're, you're kind of isolating yourself a little bit. You're suspending yourself a little bit. You're trying to get your footing. Okay? This is a self-imposed suspension. And your logical, practical earth characteristics are in fact kicking in with this because... You just want to make sure you, you're you sturdy and stable enough so that you don't find yourself in a position to recreate the past again. And I'm going to tell you this again. You have you can rest assured a little bit because you have come to a point where you can't. There is no going back. You know too much. You learn too much. You've come to understand too much to ever, ever go back. Okay? So have faith in yourself there. But yes... This is, a, this is a wise choice. Suspending yourself for a little bit while you get your footing, while you come into an understanding of this new level you have reached. Um, this is a very, very wise choice to suspend yourself in this way for just for a little bit, just so that you can get a different perspective. You can understand your surroundings a little more. Yeah? All right, Capricorn. So there it is. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me. And... I look forward to connecting with you guys again for the second half of me, May. Yeah, take care. Much love. Bye.